السلام عليكم good morning uh, my name is Dr. Mohamed Saad Mahmoud uh, today inshallah I will talk about the data analysis and chemistry station software how to do the uh, result analysis comparing peaks uh, calibration and everything inshallah uh, this is the chemistry station software I am already in the data analysis section in data analysis you will see all the, the peaks of each chromatogram that you have based on the folder you already saved your run or the sample there you will see all your analysis like here for the reference gas I will see just double click and you will see all the chromatograms already here how to see the or how to select the best reference run you have to inject certified reference material to your gas chromatography several times until you have two or three good repeatable runs how to know the good repeatable runs like I can compare with the, the two runs for the peak areas the area of each one that we have and the concentration like having the, the final report you will see some peaks will be identified and the other one are not identified like here you can see the H2S, oxygen, nitrogen, all are missing, missing and also ethane. However, the result is already normalized to 100%. Here the amount, again uh, on the peak area, this is like the response factor and here are the area. You have to compare between each run and the other one for the areas. If they are matched or not matched together. First of all, once you open the software and open this uh, like run to compare, you have to open the method that you want to reintegrate or do calibration. Say we will choose this method as example. As per this method, in the calibration section, you will see the table having the signal for like normal butane will be detected by the FID detector. The retention time for the normal butane peak is at 5.9. I can see here this peak it's not detected. Already detected but not named or quantified. So that means either there is a shifting in the peak or from the beginning or this method doesn't have any peak at that retention time. How to know? You will go to the table and see near to this 6.5 what I have as component I have normal pentane and ethane but this chromatogram related to TCD detector that means I will see the signal TCD you will see ethane you can change the retention time from 6.7 to 6.5 and press enter now the peak will be identified we will do the same for the second peak 9.4 is it TCD or FID it's TCD that's mean uh, 9.8 and have 9.4 nothing no other peaks or name near to the same one so I can change this one 9.4 it will be detected I have two more peaks in the TCD I will go according to the retention time I have at 12 and around 13 something. So let's see. Uh, I have 11.06. This is the oxygen. B9. nine. 11.9. And methane already detected. Because both peaks having was having the same or near to each other before. Now all are detected for the TCD let's go to the FID to make it easy for you you can select only FID from here and you can see all the peaks here the first two peaks I have here the propane the first peak identified in the FID why I don't have those peaks named or identified they are already eluted and detected However, this is the methane and ethane, but in my method, I prefer to take the quantification for methane and ethane from TCD detector because it's high sensitive for low molecular weight hydrocarbons. 
So propane already identified, isobutane identified, normal butane identified, iso and normal pentane identified, normal hexane, okay, normal heptane, and octane. So that means all my peaks now are identified. Let's open again the report and see. We have already changed the retention time, so that means all of the peaks are already identified except nitrogen and nonian. Let's open again TCD. See, in this case, there is no nitrogen eluted. That means I have two reasons. Either there is no nitrogen in this reference material that been injected to the GC or the concentration was very low and was not detected here. So if you have another peak, you can name it as nitrogen and then you will see the result are there. So how to check my method, is it calibrated or not? By comparing the final report with the certificate that came with the reference material. If I see the result here or the concentration of each component near to the certified reference material maximum 5 to 10 percent variation that means the instrument is accepted or it's already calibrated and I can run my sample. If I found deviation from the, the concentration from this report and the certificate so I have to re-inject the standard several times three to five times at least to have three repeatable run when i'm saying repeatable this means all the concentrations are almost the same for the three runs because you will select one of the run or two or three take average to make the calibration okay this is for the if i have shifting or the peaks are not identified here you can select all signals Imagine that I have overlapped peak and I want to either split the peak or I want to do uh, some changing on the peak behavior itself. You will go for the signal section. Once you open signal section, you will have here some other option. The first one, it's like uh, set this time for reference point. Okay, this is like the initial peaks. Usually it's here and the other one move to the reference here to delete the time reference from the chromatogram the other one delete the object if i press here and i click it will be deleted the the, 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 the detector that i already working on which was the fid so here just make okay for the integration parameters this one, if you want to make manual integration for the peak itself, like if I press, I say, no, I need this peak from this one. So that means this become now small peak and I can make another peak here. So select each one or which one you want. For here, you will make like baseline. So I want the baseline for this peak to become this one. So it's like manual integration for the peaks. Sometimes you use these features. If you have a noisy baseline, you can do it and you have you can make your own peak area. Imagine that I have one broad peak like H2S and water sometimes overlap to each other. So you can split the peak. I want this to be two peaks. In this case, you will have two peak area with two retention time and then in your calibration table, you will put for this peak the, like H2S and this one water or vice versa or whatever you want. This action, you can delete the peak at all. I don't want this peak. I don't want this one. So it will not be integrated. It will not be identified. So now let's close all. We will not do anything now. So again, if I want to compare, I run already two or three reference standards. I want to compare the big area, the elution and everything. So what to do? You can go from here. You can compare either 
all the signals together TCD FID or you can like I want to compare this one the FID only make FID only ticked and make this like this and here only FID now I have two different chromatogram already with only FID peaks are here okay I want to put the two chromatogram together to compare you can make here you see the two chromatograms already together but I want them to be identical or each other this is the time shift like it's like 10% away from each other make it zero and zero here and press show now I have the two chromatograms together you can see almost the same peaks at the same retention time same height same peak area so that's mean I have stability now with this reference reference run that I have so I have that choice either to take one of them for the calibration or to take the average of both of them so now let's sorry Now I have this run and I want to do calibration. So by press calibration, you will have here the option. Either to make a new calibration table, like from the beginning, you will have all empty table. You have to feed the component, each component, and the retention time will be there already based on the chromatogram. And you have to write the concentration of each element or each compound in your standard, and then make calibrate or recalibrate the current using the current chromatogram when i press it it will ask me which level do you have do you have one level two level three level in this method in the method quantification it's only like one level if i select two or three chromatogram i can take the average of all the big areas of them and then do the average between the current and the previous calibration or the best one if there is big deviation to make replace replace that means all the old parameter will be deleted and the new parameter are based on the new peak area will be calculated and then press ok but I will not calibrate because it's already calibrated here it's like I have maybe I have all the method but I have new reference with new component like I have C11 C12 C13 you can add here new peak once you press it will ask you which level you want to add what's the concentration okay so by this one this is the like edit the current method signal if you want to have FID DCD or you want to remove one of them if you want to add one more detector it's up to you the last thing for the calibration now you can edit your report your final result or final report if you the style of the report this is the formatting of the report like also if you have any uncalibrated peaks do you want the report to report separately you want with the calibrated peak or you don't want it to be reported the second important thing your calculated final result you know you want it as normalized all will be some uh, submitted as 100 or you need it in percent you need it in estimated in estimation percent it depends on your calibration and your application like in gas and oil operation it's better to have like normalized all the peaks will be normalized to 100 but maybe sometimes i want like uh, tick percent methanol percent some other percentage you need so in this case maybe you can select estimate uh, estimated percent 
here also the report after the run if you need the destination the report will go to the printer or only the screen and to be saved on the trial and what is the report format is it in pdf text xll whatever you want this is all your report style so uh, with this one i hope that i gave you already more information about the data analysis and let me know if you need more information on any other video that i can help you inshallah uh, just one more last thing like here if you have an unknown peak and you want to add it to the chromatogram table you can just press here it will ask you to which level and then it will go because like you press add it will be added to the chromatogram but for sure this is like for unknown peaks it will be like this one press add it will be there or if you want to delete it i don't want this one so it will be deleted okay so uh, thank you all and i hope inshallah this video was uh, good for you if you need any other thing please let me know thank you